This video is brought to you by Exploding Minions, a new card game from Exploding Kittens. Get it now at ExplodingKittens.com. Grab the cat. Grab the cat. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 hilarious bomb defusal scenes. Uh, so much pressure. For this list, we'll be looking at the funniest movie scenes in which characters are forced to defuse or otherwise deal with a ticking bomb. We'll not be including wire cutting scenes that don't involve bombs, such as the one found in The Hangover Part 3. Oh, by the way, we should issue a mild spoiler alert. Wait, 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 wait. I don't have a gray wire. I have red, green, and yellow. Which of these scenes do you find the funniest? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. Can't find a spot. Batman. Before Batman was the subject of Tim Burton's moody atmosphere and Christopher Nolan's bombastic filmmaking, he appeared in this campy and comedic 1966 original. In one of the most famous movie sequences, Batman panics while trying to dispose of a sizzling bomb. He runs all through a little wharf town with the bomb over his head, attempting desperately to avoid a group of nuns and a newborn baby, among other hilarious obstacles. Every time he goes to throw the bomb, some new obstacle gets in the way. It's a brilliant bit of physical comedy, and it goes on for just the right amount of time. Some days you just can't get rid of a bomb. Number 9. She's the Bomb. Rush Hour 2. Serving as the highest grossing entry in the Rush Hour series, Rush Hour 2 contains a hilarious bomb defusal scene. If you want to call it that, it's a bomb! Watch out, watch out. Believing that Isabella has just received a bomb, Lee and Carter race over to Rain Towers to intervene. They break into Isabella's place, retrieve the package, and take it to the roof to be blown. Oh, just as they're ducking for cover, Isabella arrives in her bathrobe, tells them she's Secret Service, and reveals the bomb to be nothing but a stack of counterfeit bills. Guys, no bomb. Nothing. Now stay away before I throw you both in jail for obstruction. It's a hilarious concept for a scene, and it contains some fantastic interplay between Chris Tucker and Jackie Chan. Number 8. Cat Assassin. Cats and Dogs. This comedy contains an all-star cast providing the voices of the titular cats and dogs who do battle against each other with human spy tools. Mr. Tinkles hires a mercenary cat named Dmitri Kennelkoff, who rigs Brody's lab to explode. What's he doing? Kid! What? Ah! Dogs! The resulting sequence is a bizarre yet brilliant piece of comedy. It sees a shoddy CGI cat throwing a sharp boomerang, a beagle spinning through the air, and a colorblind dog attempting to cut a red wire. The book says cut the red wire. We're dogs. We're colorblind. The filmmaking behind the scene must be commended, as they somehow manage to make CGI cats and dogs both convincing and hilarious. Let's go on. It's... What? Woo! <sighs> Number 7. Father-Son Bonding. The Simpsons Movie. In this long-awaited Simpsons movie, lovable oaf Homer accidentally pollutes a lake with pig feces, resulting in the EPA enclosing Springfield in a giant dome. After the dome starts to crack, EPA head Russ Cargell tricks President Arnold Schwarzenegger into destroying Springfield entirely. A bomb is lowered into the dome, and Homer and Bart reconcile to save the town. I'll let you hold the bomb. The man knows me. The entire sequence is hilarious, from Homer winning over Bart by letting him hold the bomb to the way the bomb almost falls back into Springfield. <laughs> it's also littered with great Simpsons character moments, like Ned talking about Todd's curly devil hair and Martin finally standing up for himself. This feels good. No wonder you do it. <laughs> Number 6. It always did that on the show, Galaxy Quest. A brilliant parody of science fiction and its devoted fandom, Galaxy Quest sees the cast of an old sci-fi TV series being visited by real aliens. In the movie's most brilliantly subversive sequence, Jason and Gwen manage to abort a self-destruct sequence with 20 whole seconds left on the clock. Core implosion estimated in 20 seconds. That not being exciting enough, the timer begins again, dramatically counting down the seconds as the characters brace each other. Three, two, 
one. Of course, the clock stops itself at one, because that's exactly how it's done in TV shows and movies. It's a hilarious and spot-on parody of bomb defusal sequences, and it perfectly represents the subversive intelligence behind Galaxy Quest. It always stops at one on the show. <laughs> Number 5. Haru vs. Tanley, Beverly Hills Ninja The humor of Beverly Hills Ninja largely revolves around the concept of Chris Farley attempting and failing at martial arts. That and parody of martial arts movies themselves. The climax of the film sees Haru battling Tanley and rescuing Allison from a bomb. Do not worry, Allison. Haru, 40 seconds. And to rescue Allison, Haru uses a massive harpoon gun. The image of the harpoon gun is absolutely hilarious, as is the sight of its crashing through the room. In a few moments, you will be as free as a bird. The harpoon lands in Tanley's truck and drags Haru through the wall in a fantastic bit of physical comedy. It also drags the bomb onto the truck, where it proceeds to explode as Tanley is making his getaway. Number 4. Oh Heavens No! Fight Club When you think of funny movies, Fight Club is probably pretty far down the list, but it contains a hilarious bomb defusal scene and it works in large part due to Brad Pitt's dripping sarcasm. Oh Christ. Now what are you doing? The narrator is attempting to defuse a ticking bomb inside a van while Tyler sarcastically chides him from the front seat. He sardonically tells the narrator not to pull the green wire, causing him to grow stressed and irritated. Oh, heavens no, not the green one. Pull anyone but the green one. And when he's successful in defusing the bomb, Tyler responds by kicking him square in the face. It's a funny scene, but it's made even funnier when you consider that this is just the narrator talking to himself and throwing himself out of a van. God damn it. Number 3. Just Unplug It – The Naked Gun 2 and a Half, The Smell of Fear They're some of the greatest parody movies ever made, and this installment contains a gut-busting scene involving a bomb defusal. Sort of. But unless we can disarm this computer in under five minutes, this whole building is going to blow. Quentin Hapsburg reveals that the press club dinner has been rigged with a nuclear device. Frank proceeds to save the day by tripping over the cord and unplugging it from the wall. Let's get out of here! What? The scene is pure naked gun silliness. Not only Frank tripping over the cord and inadvertently saving the day, but the fact that a nuclear device even has an unpluggable and exposed power cord in the first place. Such is the genius of David Zucker's signature brand of humor. You did it! Number 2. Toilet Bomb – Lethal Weapon 2 Poor Riggs and Murtaugh are forced to deal with numerous bombs, including the one in Lethal Weapon 3, that hilariously sees Riggs accelerating the bomb and telling Murtaugh to grab the cat. Grab the cat. Grab the cat. But there's just no beating the humor of the toilet bomb from Lethal Weapon 2. Murtaugh sits in a toilet, activating a pressure-sensitive bomb. When I glanced over, saw this. Oh, Jesus. The sight of Murtaugh sitting on a toilet while numerous police officers shuffle around him is highly amusing, as is their discussion about when to jump into the bathtub. The scene is also surprisingly touching, mixing some serious bromance material with the laughs. Gonna die on the toilet, aren't I? Guys like you don't die on toilets. And this is exactly why the Lethal Weapon movies are so endlessly endearing. <laughs> Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Spicy Meatball – The Mask There have been some creative ways to dispose of bombs, but has anyone ever tried swallowing it? One scene in The Mask sees Tina Carlisle tied up next to some ticking dynamite. To save the day, the mask hurries over, elongates his jaw, and quite literally swallows the dynamite whole. <laughs> it proceeds to explode inside his stomach, causing it to expand in an exaggerated fashion. It sounds absolutely ridiculous, and it certainly is. But this type of cartoonish humor is exactly what made the mask such a unique runaway hit in 1994. 
The visuals combined with Jim Carrey's wonderful physical performance makes this a bomb defusal sequence for the ages. That's a spicy meatball! Since you love explosions, we have the perfect explosive game for you. This video is brought to you by Exploding Minions, a new card game from Exploding Kittens. Get it now at ExplodingKittens.com.